We've already talked a little bit about the protector deity, or in general, the deity Ekajati, and how there's many different forms of her. Um, she does come from India, and she's associated with a number of different tantras. She's associated with the Mahakala tantras. She's associated with uh, the Tara Mulakalpa, and she can be found in a number of different uh, uh, texts. But in, in, in Tibet, with the Nyingma tradition, we especially find Ekajati as a protector deity. And she's very distinct and uh, very different from the uh, general Indian versions. In the Indian versions, uh, practiced by the Sarma schools, Ekajati is a meditational deity, uh, a Yidam, a, a Nishta Devata. Uh, whereas in the Nyingma tradition, she's basically a, a protector deity and a very important one. Now, the main difference, aside from function, is appearance. Now, the Nyingma Ekajati, uh, as is the translation of the word Ekajati, one braid of hair, um, the Nyingma Ekajati has one braid of hair, but also has one eye and often one tooth, in some cases one breast, and in very rare cases one leg. Now, it depends on the Nyingma Terma tradition, the revealed treasure tradition, as to how she appears and, and how those texts describe her. So, but, but in art, in general, we really don't have to worry so much about all the different variations of uh, Ekajati because the majority of them do not appear in art. Uh, what we find is the most common form to appear is the Ekajati of the Longchen Nintik tradition. And in this tradition, she's blue uh, in color. In her right hand, she holds uh, a heart. Uh, and in the left, she has her index finger uh, outstretched um, in a wrathful gesture and what appears to be a wolf emanating or, or resting on the tip of the finger. She wears a, a tiger skin lower garment and uh, stands with the two legs uh, on the ground atop a, a, a form. Now, this really is the most common form we see in, uh, in painting, in, in uh, scroll works or in murals. Then we have, uh, in some rare occasions, we have a Dzogchen, a Dzogchen Tantra tradition of uh, Ekajati, which is very similar to the Longchen Nintik uh, form. Then we also have a form of Ekajati that comes out of the Yutoken Nintik. Now this is coming out of the uh, Yutok Yuntungompo, who's very famous for uh, uh, propagating, promoting the uh, four medical Tantras in Tibet. Now, coming out of the Yutok Nintik uh, collection of, of uh, texts and descriptions, then Ekajati is actually riding, uh, riding a, a horse or, or a donkey or a mule of some sort, one face, two armed, extremely wrathful. She belongs to, to a group of deities with a Mahakala at the center. Then there's eight retinue figures. These are the very wrathful protectors of the Yutok Nintik cycle of uh, uh, meditational practices. Um, then, really lastly, we, we have the, the uh, Drikung tradition, which I've briefly mentioned already. And <clears throat> this comes out of a, a Drikung uh, revealed treasure tradition, or possibly a Daknang, uh, 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 pure vision teaching. So the, the Drikung tradition of Ekajati is the one where she's uh, maroon in color, uh, maroon, dark brown, reddish. It can vary with, with paintings. But, but this form is the very unique one where she only has one eye, one tooth, one breast, and one leg. So, so it's uh, very apparent when you see it in a painting. And if you see it in a painting, uh, then generally, then you can automatically assume that the painting belongs to the Drikung tradition of Tibetan Buddhism. So, this is just a brief description uh, because th there are not that many uh, paintings of the of the Nyingma Ekajati, 
and uh, there are only a few forms that are that are really represented well represented with the longchen nintig ekijati being the most commonly seen